Brought to you by ServiceNow. We're back in Orlando. I'm Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick, and this is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. Andrew Wilson is here, he's the CIO of Accenture and TV personality. <laughs> good to <laughs> good, see you again, Andrew. Good to see you gents again. Welcome, congratulations on a great show so far coming out of Knowledge17. Yeah, and back to you. We were at uh, the Accenture event last night. It was pretty good. We had a lot of really great customers there, and uh, ServiceNow was there in force, so you know, when, when a company like uh, Accenture stamps its imprimatur on a community like this, <clears throat> excuse me, that is a testament. So, how do you feel? Uh, we enjoy being a major player in the ecosystem. It's an ecosystem of platforms. We consume a lot of tech for ourselves. We have 400,000 people. We're in 55 countries, 200 cities around the world. So I've got to make them feel good. I've got to create great tech. I've also got to put tech out there that our clients see, and I've really got to get there first so that they can emulate us. I want to be a sandbox. So I'm here as a consumer, but also as a service provider of ServiceNow, uh, and uh, I think it's a great event so far. How do you spend your time as a CIO? I mean, especially inside a company like Accenture, I would imagine you're getting pulled in a lot of different directions. I think the role and the time has changed. It used to be about running big programs, doing big builds, integration testing, and big programmatic old-fashioned data center IT. The world's changed. I'm the chief experience officer now. It's around orchestrating, brokering new experiences, a lot that I'm procuring in and configuring, the platforms like ServiceNow, uh, and other big major brands like O365 and Salesforce, et cetera. Um, I'm focused on end-to-end -end experience, employee experience. Uh, we've got 100,000 new people arriving every year. They all bring their own tech. If mine isn't good, they will just use their own. So I want to compete with that. I want to be better than that. I want to be sticky. I want it to be like YouTube, Netflix, things like that. I wonder if you could dig into that a little bit because that's one of the themes we see over and over and over all the shows, the consumerization of IT and people's expectations of the way enterprise IT should work based on what I do on my phone and on my consumer well, apps. Well, it should just work all the time, shouldn't it? It <laughs> right. should work all the time. Uh, it should be require no training. Um, it should be fun. It should be bite-sized. And it should all be there on my mobile device and upgrade automatically. And by the way, it's all free as well. <laughs> A little different than an old school SAP implementation from back in the day. Absolutely, and I mean SAP are a good platform provider and we still, and they've had to change. The platforms deliver big agile releases now and we have to represent tech. But the, those days of setting a course, annual spending, big functional requirements and then delivering and not course changing, that's all out the window. We have to listen, feedback, course correct, be agile ourselves. And I also think in the inject fun. Um, tech has to be fun, modern, light-hearted, light touch. It's a part of all aspects of life now. And it has to have loud music. <laughs> <laughs> Thumping in the background. You're a consumer, you said, of ServiceNow as well. What's your ServiceNow experience like? We've been in production on ServiceNow for every year. Uh, I like it. I think it's a good platform, well architected for cloud. It allows me to create rich uh, moments of experience for my team. I bought it initially to do ITSM type stuff, but I've had a learning experience that it's much broader. Um, I like the adding analytics and intelligence into the platform that we've been hearing about here in Orlando. Um, we're using it to power HR processes, legal processes, new contract setup, and in the end, I want people to be enjoying a process and experience through life at Accenture, and I don't want them to be thinking about what system I am, what platform I own. That's all under the hood. Experience first, experience only, process based, and uh, ServiceNow is really helping us do that. So what are the things as a CIO that you're looking at? You said Chief Experience Officer. What are some of the things that are exciting you? You hear a lot of you know, AI, big, nobody talks about big data anymore. It's all AI and machine all learning. All cognizance. And deep right. learning, right? And, right? and it's, is it, is it sort of same wine, new bottle? Is it real? What do you see as a CIO? It is changing. Uh, a lot of, um, like the cloud a few years ago, a lot of talk, but we're not all there yet. We're 71% in cloud, we got on with it. I think we're about to get on with AI. I think about enterprise insight. That's what gets me excited. It's not a technology service anymore, it's a data and analytics service. The things are coming of age, we can now deliver it for the enterprise. When you think about, strategy, vision, the role of the CIO, how do you see that changing? Uh, well, I'm a broadcaster like you, so I'm a chief communications person. Um, I'm producing content, 
So I'm not just running the cameras and the green screen studios, I'm doing my own show. I'm not writing emails. We're popping up studios around the world. We're ingesting content into something which is beginning to feel a lot like a live network. And that's how people want to consume. They don't want to sit there and watch an hour long training course. And if they want to learn about security and how we do it at Accenture, they want to watch something that looks and sounds like 24. We call it Hackerland, and it's a series of dramatized episodes. That's the future of how we consume tech. So what are some of the topics that you're covering well, first of all, what's the objective of your show and, and what are some of the things you're talking about? My show exists primarily to glue my family of eight or 9,000 IT workers around the world together so that they can stay current in a fast-moving, changing world of our own strategy. We course correct our strategy. We, we do hundreds of releases of different services every month. Being the CIO team that does that, I want them very aware. So it's our internal stay ahead, under the hood, stay ahead of our broader user base. And by the way, practice new techniques because we're amongst friends with our CIO audience before our CEO and the others start using the services as well. Have you done a show that related to service management? Uh, not, oh, we've certainly talked about service now deployment, but yeah. the show we like to mix. So we'll have different teams and projects on, we'll have news reports, we'll have some humor. Uh, we don't do an hour of the same thing because they'd switch off. You do a lot of events like this, I presume? I go to a lot of events like this. We don't do the show from those events. We take our show on the road. We've done the show live from India. We're about to go uh, two weeks time to Dublin in Ireland, and then we'll be going down to Buenos Aires. So it's a global show. Uh, when I'm here, I'm typically on others stage, like I'm here with you guys today, talking about um, our work in the market and how we power all of our client work through these platforms. It's, it's so different, because I remember a long time ago, I was at a small software company, we were trying to break in with Accenture, and, and it was a road show. You guys had little shows all over the place, whether it be the vertical group, the, the industry group, the horizontal group, and you know, they'd bring the partners together, and that was the way that kind of new technologies were commun communicated. We'd set up a little expo, and they would all come in, and we'd kind of, kind of uh, you know, pitch our wares, and, and, and that was it. It's so different than what you're I talking about now in this communications video Accenture is a thing. global company, global brand. It's actually a series of businesses, technologists, operators, strategists, consultants, and we, um, I think we are, we're platform, platform practitioners and we are a major service provider. So we use ServiceNow to support hundreds of our own clients. So I'm not just using it to power Accenture, we're powering all our client work as well. Um, and it's a new Accenture. We talk about the new in our digital strategy and at least half of the work that we do for our clients is all in this brand new space of digital and that percentage is increasing rapidly every quarter. How much of your time is practice leads dragging you into client discussions? <laughs> Quite a bit, yeah. but we do hundreds of client dialogues. I, I come from our business. I spend more time talking to clients as CIO than I did when I was the business. Excellent. Andrew, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. It's a pleasure having you. Great to see good, you guys. Good, good luck, luck with your show. We'll be watching. Yeah, we'll be Thank you. In. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. All right, keep it right there, buddy. We'll be back with our next guest right after this short break. This is theCUBE. We're live from Knowledge17. We'll be right back.